What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we have another quick fire episode where I'll take you guys through the top 10 categories of ladies sportswear. We'll look at these 10 items and I'll give you my one to two favorite fabric recommendations for each and I'll give you a quick reason as to why. You guys enjoyed this video last time we made it for the men so we thought we'd bring it to the women's as well. Hey guys and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing, and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions, and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around. You're in for a good one. So we'll be listing everything in six minutes or less. I have the timer, we'll start now. So first up, we have our performance tank top. And we, as we discussed last time with performance, you wanna introduce polyester. Polyester brings in a robustness that's necessary for high impact sports. And at the same time, polyester is sweat wicking. Anyone who knows anything about homeostasis knows that you need to wake sweat away from the surface of the skin to cool yourself down. So with a performance tank top, I would definitely recommend something at around 88% polyester, 12% spandex, at around 140, 150 GSM. This is gonna be a great, great blend and composition. At the same time, the weight is not gonna to be too thick and not too thin. Next up, we have our lifestyle tank top. With lifestyle, we always wanna bring in a more familiar and a warmer to the touch feel fiber. And that's gonna be cotton. But I don't like cotton spandex for tank tops because it's typically heavy and it drapes quite heavily. So we're gonna go instead for either a modal or a rayon or viscose blend for this tank top. I'd recommend something at around 95% viscose and 5% spandex or modal and spandex. Do bear in mind that modal and spandex are semi-synthetic fibers so they can pile over time. That is something to bear in mind, but you're getting a lot of benefits out of it. Next, we have our performance tee. With our performance tee, we're back when it comes to the gym. So we want something that's going to be able to take on a lot of wear and tear and polyester is gonna do a great job here. I'd recommend a 90% polyester, 10% spandex, something that's a little bit thicker than the tank top at around 180, 120 GSM just because you typically wouldn't be wearing a very thick sports bra underneath a performance shirt, so you have a bit more, let's just say, space. You don't wanna be as uncomfortable as with a tank top. Next up, we have our lifestyle tee. The lifestyle tee, we're gonna go back to a warmer, a more, let's just say, common type of fiber that we're used to, and that's typically cotton. With a performance tee, I would recommend cotton because it's going to allow you to drape the garment a bit more in a structured format. With a t-shirt as opposed to with a tank top, I'm typically not so concerned with a very flowy and a very kind of delicate drape. I don't mind having something that's a little bit more structured. So good old 95% cotton, 5% spandex is definitely something that can be suitable in this case. And do bear in mind that adding spandex to anything, around 10% of an addition of spandex allows a garment to stretch up to two times of its size without losing any of its tension. So that's very important. And you'll notice that spandex makes a common appearance at all of these sportswear items that we're gonna be mentioning today. Next up, we have our ladies leggings. And this is the holy grail of all ladies items. And there's two main camps of categories or like two main camps of fabrics that are main mentioned. Polyester spandex blend and a nylon spandex blend. We've done a video on polyester versus nylon that I highly recommend you check out. However, when it comes to polyester spandex, I'd recommend something at around 75% polyester, 25% spandex, and we're gonna add a peach or a cotton finish on the outside. I don't typically like the slick look that polyester brings in comparison to nylon, so when it comes to polyester, I like to gravitate towards a brushed finish. It's gonna bring in a warm and a very familiar touch, and it's just going to feel a lot better on the hand. Do bear in mind that it can pile over time as with anything that is a brushed finish because you're purposely bringing these piles up to the surface. So do bear that in mind. I'd recommend something at around 230 to 260, 270 GSM when it comes to the polyester. With the nylon spandex blend, if you want to stay for something that is, let's just say, doesn't have a surface finish, it's not peached or cotton finish, then definitely go for nylon. Nylon to polyester, nylon always have a, has a slicker, more premium finish in my opinion. This is again, my opinion, it's extremely subjective. I'd recommend something at around 82% polyester, nylon, 12, 18% spandex, at between a 230 to 280 GSM. Anything thicker than 280 GSM, it's just gonna get too thick and it's gonna become uncomfortable. Anything thinner than 230, 220, unless it's interlock, it's going to kind of be a bit too thin. I definitely also recommend for both of these fiber 
compositions a interlock inner finish. This has something to do with the way that the garment is knitted and this is going to help prevent shear. So something that you don't want in a great legging and sports bra fiber is going to be shear. So interlock inner finishing is going to be key. With a sports bra, in order to save time, pretty much know that a sports bra you can have the same types of materials as leggings. Uh, when it comes to polyester spandex, stick to the peach finish, 75-25. When it comes to your nylon, go for 82-18. Do bear in mind with both leggings and uh, sports bras that you can introduce a Lycra or a Crayora spandex fiber. So just know that with the spandex fibers, you can go for something that's name brand if you want something that's a bit higher quality. Depends on your budget. Next up, we have our shorts. With shorts, I always like to go for a woven material. We've discussed woven versus knitted. Just know that woven is more robust and it's less porous. With something like a training short where you're gonna be, let's just say you're, it, it's gonna take on an impact and it might kind of be used outdoors. A woven, 88% nylon, 12% spandex, 140-150 GSM is going to do wonders. It just has a very premium, slick, kind of like very like a dry fit feel and it's gonna do a great job at helping to wick sweat away if you add a water repellent surface finish and the lightweight short is going to be key when it comes to those running sessions. So I love woven materials, especially for shorts. They just feel so premium and they perform phenomenally. Next up, we have our hoodie. For the hoodie, a cotton polyester blend is going to be key. Cotton is gonna bring in that warm, familiar touch. Polyester is gonna bring in that robustness. We can also pile it with polyester, so we can add a brushed fleece in our finish, which is key for a warm and cozy hoodie that you want to use during winter seasons. So a 300 GSM weight is going to be also a great, let's just say, thickness for the for this fiber composition. Next up, we have our performance long sleeve. With a performance long sleeve, again, stick to a polyester spandex blend at around 90% polyester, 10% spandex. Uh, the polyester is going to help wick sweat away from the surface, thereby cooling the wearer. Next up, we have our Lifestyle long sleeve. I lost, but we'll continue. Our lifestyle long sleeve is going to be a blend of a tri blend. You've probably heard that before. I don't want to use a polyester or a cotton spandex mix here because it's generally too thin. And with a long sleeve, I want a breathable and more lightweight material. So I'll go with a tri blend of rayon, polyester, or rayon, polyester, and spandex. That's going to be a great way of mixing these fibers together to bring in a lightweight and very breathable and very slick and smooth finish. The polyester is going to help prevent piling over time and just add the robustness that you need. So polyester is brought in when you need a heavy hitting fiber type. The rayon is going to bring in the slickness and the spandex is gonna bring in the stretch. Last but not least is our joggers. For joggers, there's two main camps. I'd either go with a nylon spandex blend at around 82% nylon, 18% spandex, or 88% nylon, 18, 12% spandex. Uh, if I want a more fitted and slick jogger, kind of like a booty jogger, if that makes sense, something that's just a lot more form-fitting, uh, I would brush the outer to give it a more like familiar touch. And if I was going for something more heavier weight, more of like a to accompany the pullover hoodie, I would want something more of like a lounge jogger. I definitely uh, pick something that's 85% cotton, 10% polyester, 5% spandex with a brush fleece inner finish at around a 250, 280 GSM. Depends on how thick you want it. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's my top fabric recommendations for these 10 ladies sports and active wear categories. If you guys enjoyed this video, let us know if you, we should do more quick fire episodes. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.